in the red. We have our Terran player. He is deadly indeed. Finalist for the GSL season two. Everyone play free. Whoa, you can play chess on that. Um, or checkers. Or checkers. Chess, much more sophisticated, sexy yeah. game. Well, if you're playing with bit by bit prime, you probably want to play checkers. <laughs> Over here, our Rodas player. Legal mind. Uh, they're in the locations that make for interesting situations because they're close by air, not close by ground. That's right. It's quite a trip. It is quite a trip. You're on the I-95, go down the strip. Yeah. Take a left at the 9 o'clock base. You'll see an Octaurus MiG statue. That's when you know you're there. Yeah. Not the wolf statue. Don't stop there. You There's a really nice view from in between the wolf statues, though. Yeah. You just go up. Great wolf place to go on a date. And Take your girlfriend Towers. up there, you yeah. know? Yeah, absolutely. Probe continuing to scout. Stops by the cafe. It's nighttime. Gets a nice Americano. And then realizes that it is a probe. And not only that, but a Protoss probe, the odds of it having a mouth are very slim. Tasting. Well, you don't know, man. Well, Protoss don't have mouths, and robots normally don't have well, mouths. Well, if the Protoss don't have mouths, how are they talking in the game? They talk in your mind, Tasteless. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just got owned. Yeah. Oh, I just... Jeez, Tasteless, don't you read the StarCraft books? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, I do. <laughs> it's just, uh, here we have uh, the Terran. Looked like a little bit of late gas. Did he actually take it? He's not taking it. Oh, yeah. No, he took it a little. Very late gas. Though. That was a peculiar timing there, though. It was indeed. I, I don't know. What, what do you think this means, Artosis? Uh, well, I feel like he's going to get a reactor and expand. I don't know. It's just it's too late a gas to actually go factory with. It'd be like the silly latest factory. It would be like guinea pigs build that we saw in Code A, where yeah. it takes forever to get it, and then all the timings are kaput. Put. Put. Second gas guys are being taken. Very standard for Mr. Legal Mind. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to sit tight for just a little bit here, guys, till we see the builds. By the way, thank you, um, those of you who sent uh, sending us messages via Twitter about the highlight videos. Oh, we those appreciate are awesome. We got to show our toasts that um, really quickly. Yep. And uh, oh, we got a reactor. Yeah, a reactor in a command center. That's an interesting Look opener. Look at that. Yeah. Huh. We got to show our toes. It's the one uh, with the Dark Crystal scene. <laughs> oh, that was really I funny. I am still Emperor. <laughs> Thought it looked pretty cool, man. It was pretty hilarious. That's what I think of every time I watch you lose a ladder game. <laughs> 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 what are you talking about, Jesus? I don't lose ladder games. I've never lost a game in my life. Now, um, I I'm really curious to see Marine King Prime execute this build because when Maka did this it was terrible but when Marine King Prime does it it seems to be very effective and it's completely different from conventional Terran vs. Terran. Well this is a Terran vs. Protoss so... Oh, Terran, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just went brain dead for a second. Um, Alright, you know what? I got a joke to escape from that. Alright, Arctos, my mind is so liberated I don't see race. Okay? Ooh. Alright. No, but I mean this, this build he's doing in general um, you know, he's getting he's fast expanding, he's making a ton of barracks. I can't believe I just made a mistake like that. I don't even know what to say, I'm so embarrassed. That's uh, okay. There's very many turns in this group. It's understandable, Tasis. Um, we so, forgive you. Thank you. I will speak for all those people at home watching. We all forgive you, Tasis. <laughs> I'm sure Every one do. of us. Well, Protoss is going to go four gate. No, excuse me, that's a robo Three down there. Gate robo. Artos, you might I've actually made two major mistakes in a row. You might just have to cast this game alone. Tasteless. I'm getting all red faced. I know. Go home, tasteless. Just, you don't want me to go home, you'd be so lonely. Yeah, I would be lonely. Now he knows that the Terran's fast expanding. Protoss is gearing up for a rush. You know, this actually this rush doesn't oh, make any sense. You know, I don't sense. like this rush. It's actually. so slow. He's making immortals and he's got the robo like all the way in the bottom of his base. He's like, how can I make this the slowest rush in the game? It's he's going like, to be slow. The thing is, uh 
you can do some really good three warp gate immortal rushes against a fast expanding Terran. Uh, normally, they go a lot of Marauders with it. Like, if you see the, the Marauder uh, Concussive Shell expansion, and you actually do a build similar to this, you know, make make maybe three Immortals, just to chrono boost them out the entire way while making Zealots and Stalkers and just a, a couple sentries in there, then it can be really good. But this is Marine King. He makes Marines. The Marines are gonna rip apart Immortals as if they did not even exist. Well, I actually think the Protoss in general is doing this build wrong. If you're gonna do something like this, you need to proxy the Robo. Yeah, you proxy actually wanna definitely make it a much yeah, quicker yeah. rush. See these Immortals? For instance, he's They're going so out when the next Immortal is halfway there. It doesn't even make sense. This timing doesn't make sense at all. And Marine King is going to absolutely crush through here. He already has Stim. Zealots nice force fields. Way out of um, position. I don't uh, think this is going to matter. I think actually Marine King is just going to win this. I do believe Marine King is just yeah, going to kill this. Yeah, this is pretty much game over, to be Legal honest. Mind strategy didn't make any sense. You need to have the proxy the Robo Bay to do this build. And even then, even then, I think it's debatable. a lot better. Uh, it's sad face. Gross. Um, let me just give you guys some stats. 32 supply for Legal Mind, 49 for Marine King. Marine King, of course, has his expansion out. Uh, as far as units go, 26 probes against 25 SCBs. This is just, oh, this is, this is bad, tasteless. This, even though Marine King is forever ahead, a Nexus is going up and there's a ton of sentries at the top of the ramp. Legal Mind doesn't want to go out this way, tasteless. I think we may see a lot of forest fields, but he goes down the ramp. It always cracks up when we have these press players that like, have a zealot and like eight sentries against like a normal group of medic marines. They got force fields everywhere. Wait a minute, I don't have anything that can attack or do damage. Oh no. Tickling the marines. <laughs> as they kill everything. GG! And, well, it looks like Marine King, now 1-1. One, one. Legal Mind, now 1-1. One, one. Clyde, 2-0. Clyde will go ahead and win the group. And uh, then we're gonna have to see uh, a fifth game. It's gonna be these two playing again. And, uh, oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna see who's the best. Not the Pokemon side game, but in fact, it is going to be between Marine King and Eagle Mine. We'll have to see. Clyde already done with this. He's yeah. actually over there sitting on a cloud. Yeah. Just floating around. He's actually sitting on a cloud. Floating like floating this. Around. Uh, so, I got to say Marine King, I think, is going to be the favorite. Yeah. I mean, that last rush was pretty bad. The, Today's been a the game level of, of, of terrible is, rushes, actually, yeah. in Kodas. The, the level of understanding between these two is phenomenally different. Yeah. Okay? I'm not saying Legal Mind is terrible, but Marine King is one of the best, and it's quite clear that Legal Mind had no idea what he was doing last game. That strategy was actually terrible. There's just mean, no reason for him to do it. Even if you're not going to proxy the Robo, why would you put it in the back of your base? The immortal, and it's a timing rush, right? So the Immortals are going to get there so slowly... It's like just such a bad strategy. Yeah. Well, it's like when you see somebody do something like that, it's like they don't even understand the most fun, the most fundamental parts of the game. You know what I mean? It's quite true. Like, well, because I thought it was a four gate, as you guys saw in the game. Um, I'm like, okay, well, it doesn't, it doesn't actually matter where you make your gateways in a warp gate rush because you warp in the units. Yeah. Immortals walk there. That's right. I don't know. It's just pretty well, bad. it's over. Let's forget about it. We're going to go to a break in a moment here, yes. a five-minute break. There's not going to be any interviews until the end, which is going to be one more game. And I have a little something for you guys to do. We normally yeah. tell you what type of foods you like to get, you know, doing your laundry, workout tips, stuff like that. One thing that I like to do, and one of the reasons why I have all these random facts all the time, go to Wikipedia. Oh, okay? yeah. There's actually something really interesting you can look up. The world's rarest insect. Look it up. It's the Lord Howe stick insect. It's actually really interesting. They found it on Ball's Pyramid, which is this ridiculous mountain in the ocean. Go look it up. It's so interesting. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are impossible, you see.